Hey everybody, you probably know about the case of Laskula Cohen, the fashion model who was the target of an anonymous blogger who called her things like skank and ho and basically was trying to say that she slept around. Well, Cohen sued Google and even though Google challenged the original assertion that Cohen should be told who the blogger was, a U.S. federal judge forced Google to give up that blogger's name and IP address. We now know that blogger to be a woman by the name of Rosemary Port, a uh, fellow student with the school of Cohen. And what's fascinating about this case to me is, well, it's fascinating, it's also a bit annoying. Here's why it's annoying to me, because there's this idea among some out there that posting comments and writing blogs is a form of free speech. But here's the unfortunate truth, folks, it's not. Free speech is going out in the corner and saying, ha, ah, and doing everything you want to do, and just talking and using your mouth to project your voice into the public airspace. That's classic free speech. You're writing on a online system that's privately owned. It's, if it's not the blog itself, then it's the internet service provider, all of which can control the kind of content that's put out there. So I think a lot of people who have written have been seduced into the idea that this is free speech because blogging is so very easy to do. You get a computer and you just put something out there. But you have to be careful about what you put out there. There have been a lot of people, like myself, I'm the target of racist emails, lies, and comments on a daily basis and insults. I'm called everything from racist inwards to conehead to you name it. And I have no idea who this is. And I've twice gotten death threats last year and even once in the comment section this year on SFGate. It's outrageous. So now there's a war on internet trolls or cyber stalkers. A war on the kind of actions that people like Ms. Port have done. We're tired. You know, but the bottom line is that we're protected by a little provision within the Violence Against Women Act that passed in 2006. And it basically says that you cannot anonymously go out and annoy and lie about people. And you're saying, okay, well, I'll just do it and use my real name. But then if you use your real name and say something about a person that isn't true, well, then you get sued and you still don't win. That's the position Rosemary Park is, Port is in. Rosemary is basically under the idea that you know Google's supposed to protect her privacy. But what she did violated the Violence Against Women Act completely. So technically, if either Cohen or Google or the U.S. Department of Justice wanted to push the matter, she might see jail time for up to two years. You never know. But I do think it's a discussion we need to have because teenagers are being jailed, and I don't think that should happen. Teenagers you know, kind of don't know better. But adults like Rosemary Port, know a lot better.